My name is Schlatt and I am a very angry person. What the f is this? It's a hat. Schlatt. Oh, wow. Great. I get my own hat. Is that funny to you? Calling me gay? <laughs> First of all, why? Like, why are we doing cartoon characters and me? Let's do a little experiment, shall we? Let's go on to YouTube. Oh, sorry. That's the Twitch art section now. And let's search up AI cover. Now let's filter it. All videos from the last year. And we're going to sort by view count. It makes no sense. There's Plankton. There's the Minecraft villager. We got Obama. We got Squidward. We got Biden and Trump again. And then there's me. I can't even sing this one, guys. I can't even sing this one. Why? First of all, why is Hitler there? Second of all, why the f*** am I there? Why did you people get access to this incredible new tool with, 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 with f***ing limitless possibilities and decide to put me on it? This is going to take a lot of strength for me to say without, frankly, stopping the recording. There's a saying in this world, and the saying goes that hard times create strong men, and that strong men create good times, and that good times create weak men, and that weak men create this. I can hardly express to you in words how much I hate this. I'm trying very hard not to lose my composure. I would drag my nutsack across a lit web of Genesis if it meant I didn't have to see one of these gangly motherfuckers again. But I do have to see them again. Because every fucking company and their mother decided that this is the art style they're gonna use from now on. You wanna clock in and talk with your coworkers? You wanna plan out your next creative endeavor? You wanna find a partner to share the rest of your life with? You wanna buy a shit ton of guns and scratch off the serial numbers? Welcome to Allegria, the art style Facebook developed in 2017 that uses flat, simple, scalable shapes and makes me wanna fucking die. At its core, this art style was made to be relatable and universal. All the characters are happy, they're in motion, and they're all blue, and they're orange, and they have these big ass feet and non-proportional bodies that no one ever feels left out. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. This is the bottom of the barrel. It does not get worse than this. If you go to any website and you see these happy-go-lucky fuckers plastered across the page, you can guarantee yourself that the product will be as shitty and uninspired as the art on the page. Think about it. This is what they used to tell you why they stand out from the bunch, why they're industry disrupting, and they decided to use this. I know you've seen this shit. It is so deeply ironic to me that an art style made specifically for the purpose of relatability has evolved into one of the most unrelatable, inchoate messes of mass-produced shapes. How the fuck is anybody supposed to relate to this? No one can live like this. You will die if you look like this. Even more insulting is the constant state of joy that all these people are in. They're so happy. Our world is so happy. There's nothing ever wrong. We just need to focus on what makes us happy and buy the product. Companies make me happy with their products. And when I use them, my head begins to shrink to the size of a nickel and my hands begin to grow. Oh my God. By the way, someone needs to get all these people screened for cancer. Because you know what they say, if your hand is bigger than... Never mind. I hate foldable phones. I have never seen a single person in my entire life use one of these things. And I really, for, for my own mental health, I really hope I never have to. And I'm not talking about the ones like back in the day where you'd you'd flip them open and like the keypad. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm not talking about that because those made sense. I'm talking about the new ones, right? Where you flip it up and then it's like a full screen along it that had been bent in. Or God forbid, the one that opens sideways like a book. And then it's like a square. <laughs> My brain cannot conjure a single use case for this that is, that is more convenient than just using an actual phone. In some of the commercials for these things, they show the person watching a, a video on it and it's 16 by nine on the square. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> okay, if you have one of these, if you have one of these, be honest with yourself, okay? You're a boring person, and you thought that spending $2,000 on a phone would make you less boring because it 
folds in half. And you probably don't even use it. It probably is more annoying to you than actually having a regular phone would be. But you gotta commit now, because the thing is 2,000 fucking dollars. If you're watching this video today on a screen that has been folded out, maybe even twice, and there's creases all over my face and the reflections, like you can barely even see the screen right, just know that you're a sucker and we're all laughing at you. No! Another one! Oh my fucking God! Another one! It's all the fucking packages at this point! High school fucking project again! I swear to fucking God. What the fuck was the point of putting another envelope inside with a big P on the fucking... Oh my God, it's another graduation party. Ah! Fuck you! I'm not going! I think I'm gonna have to stop the video if I get another... <laughs> I, don't, I don't... Every single one, dude. I've gotten 10 in a row. Another one! What the fuck? She has chosen to not have a formal celebration? What's the fucking point of even saying this to me then? <laughs> Was there a conspiracy? Did you people get together and all say like, hey, we're gonna send him our graduation invitation? Heinz, right? Heinz unveiled the brand refresh a few years ago that I am in love with. It unified all their products under that familiar keystone. Used to be an inconsistent mess of different shapes and sizes and fonts, and now it's just Heinz. Imagine if they got rid of that. Imagine if they got rid of the arch in the text. Like, it, this is just an inseparable part of the brand identity. And now imagine Kraft completely removing all the defining characteristics of the brand in one fell swoop. The strong blue text and that quintessential red border around it Gone like that. And then imagine them realizing their mistake and changing it right back. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You don't have to reinvent the wheel every single time, especially if the wheel is fucking rolling. It's always funny when a billion dollar company decides to spend a fuck ton of money on a redesign only for it to be a complete and utter failure. Take Tropicana, for instance. Back in 2009, they tried changing the packaging of their orange juice to this in a change that cost $35 million and resulted in a 20% drop in orange juice sales. Who the fuck thought this was a good idea? And one time, Vegemite tried changing its name to iSnack 2.0. I'm not kidding. I don't know what kind of Walter Hartwell White 308 Negra Royal Lane Albuquerque New Mexico type shit these guys were smoking, but get me some of that right now. How are you as a man deathly allergic to peanuts like it, it's an it's a nut it's, it's a tiny little thing it grows on a little tree like 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 let, <laughs> is this not nature's way of trying to like weed out the weak like we're taking out the trash with us if you eat a peanut and you keel over and die is that not natural selection at this point or don't we believe in biology fellas all i'm saying is that if a tiny little peanut is enough to kill you Maybe it should. Anything I anything I really want, I'm gonna throw to the, the right side of me. <laughs> That's a book full of furry porn. Not gonna be reading that. Let me say this. Say that. Thank you.